Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Stay tuned because later you will be having your quiz. You can find the link for your quiz at the description box below. Today we are going to explore the free transform tool. The free transform command lets you apply transformation, rotate, scale, skew, distort, and perspective in one continuous operation. You can also apply a warp transformation instead of choosing different commands. You simply hold down a key on your keyboard to switch between transformation types. The location of free transform. You can locate free transform by clicking edit in the menu bar or you can press Ctrl T for the shortcut. You can see the variation when you hover the transform. The edit in the menu bar, transform, and these are the variation. The variation of transform. Scale. Scale enlarges or reduces an item relative to its reference point. The fixed point around which transformation are performed, you can scale horizontally, vertically, or both horizontally and vertically at the same time. Example Rotate Rotate turns an item around by a reference point. By default, this point is at the center of the object. However, you can move it to another location. Example Skew Skew slants an item vertically and horizontally. Distort Distort stretches an item in all directions. What is the difference between distort and skew? You see, in skew, it is slanted vertically or horizontally, unlike distort. There is no much difference between the two. The only difference is you are more free using the distort. Perspective This applies one point perspective to an item. Example Warp Warp manipulates the shape of an item. Example if you click the warp, you will see dots on your screen, on your object. You can drag the dots to create a different shape. The fixed rotation. Rotate 180, rotate 90 clockwise, rotate 90 counterclockwise. This rotates the item by the specified number of degrees, either clockwise or counterclockwise. Example, this image is rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise. This image is rotated 180 degrees. Flip. Flip flips the item vertically or horizontally. Example. Vertical flip. Horizontal flip. Let's do an activity. Let's imagine 
that your favorite artist is going to Manila. And you want to welcome him or her by creating a collage for him or her. First, you go to File, New, select the default Photoshop size, or you can use your own size if you want. Make sure that the color mode is either RGB, CMYK. Press OK. After pressing OK, you will see a white rectangle in the middle. You can zoom it using the zoom tool. Just make sure that you click the zoom function in the options bar. Zoom tool, zoom function. You may open your file, your images of your favorite art artist, and press open. After opening the image, click the move tool letter V on your keyboard and drag the, the image on your untitled file. Do not let go yet. Hover your mouse in the middle of your screen or your canvas then let go of your finger. If the image is too big, you can go to Edit, Transform, and Scale your image. If you want your image to be scaled perfectly, you can hold the shift button. Add another image. Again, click the Move tool, move it onto your la untitled layer or untitled file, and then don't let go yet. In the middle, on the canvas, let go your hand. You can go to File, do Edit, Transform, or you can just press Ctrl T, shortcut key for pre-transform. You can add different variation if you want. You can Ctrl T, right click and add some perspective. Add another image. You can control T. And you can add, maybe distort.
do this until you're satisfied. Then add text in the middle or anywhere in your screen. You can change the color here. You can also apply transformation on text. You can press Ctrl T and make it smaller. Okay. Yeah. And then you can save your work. And there you have it. You now have your collage of your favorite artist. If you do this, take note that you have to at least try to explore all of the possible variation. Thank you and shout out to these people. Thank you for your support. Bye everyone!